Hey, we're in front of Acoustic Piano, the new virtual piano module from Native Instruments. They've given us four great piano sounds, the new Concert Grand D, which is obviously Steinway, a Bosendorfer, a Beckstein, and an upright Steingruber. On the right-hand side of this easy-to-use control panel, they've given us some convulsive reverbs, so we've got from Concert Hall right down to Recording Studio. The one for this demo, I've picked Jazz Club and a Beckstein. Underneath here, we've got some great uh, controls for adjusting the tone and uh, how we really want our piano to be. Velocity curve, for instance, mic position, um, everything we need. Um, to know about this uh, sample library, it's quite large. It's a 15 gig library. So you may be wondering how that's going to fit into your PC with one gig. Well, what they've got is this new technology called disc streaming. So if I actually play a note or two on this controller here, what I see happening is the uh, light on my um, uh, hard drive is actually flashing to tell me there's data being moved from it. So it streams the data from your hard drive and out through your system to save um, putting it all in RAM. That's a great idea to uh, get big libraries into small spaces. Other things to note is the detail. They've got this new technology called morphing, which means that it, it where most sample libraries will uh, give you, say, eight steps in the velocity of recordings, so there'll be eight different recordings. And sometimes when you go between them, the tone kind of changes. So the morphing technology is the, to get rid of all that. So that's a great feature in there. Other things I notice about this uh, library is the detail. Um, for instance, if I press my uh, sustain pedal on my controller keyboard here, you'll hear the sound of the uh, dampers pulling away from the strings. There you go. Pretty easy. I've ex emphasized it a little bit there, which is uh, probably too much for normal playing. Also, I noticed that the sounds in the background of the piano uh, uh, keys when I strike them, you can actually hear the hammers dropping away when you've uh, damped a key. Uh, not easy to notice, so you have to listen really careful on this streaming technology. Maybe not so easy to hear, but let's have a go. So a little knock in the background of the sound just as I release it. So that's a great feature. So let's put this in some context. Let's just play a little piece on this controller here and see what happens. So it really is um, very uh, user friendly, it's, it plays, it sounds great, so you really can do lots of stuff. So let's see how it blends. I'm going to bring on a couple of um, pieces of recording here, an acoustic bass and a, a drum kit with uh, brushes, and just see how it fits with uh, the piano in, because we've got this jazz uh, room uh, convolution reverb thing. So let's see how this works. So obviously it fits very well with um, any recording material, anything you have, so it's really a great library. So this is the acoustic piano from Native Instruments, and if you're looking for a piano sound for your new recording, this may be one on your shopping list. Uh, so I'm Chris from Florida Music Company, and you're listening to our new uh, podcast, Extreme Music Series. And uh, check back with us pretty often, because we'll be having plenty of these, and if you need something special, drop us a line and maybe we could fit it in. Uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>